I just freaking smoked the ball. June 4th, second weekend we're out setting some cams. Drew my limited entry, big bull archery tag. Today's June 15th, and me and my dad ran down to the mountain. I just set cam number two for the day. It's number eight so far this year. Um, I checked one camera this morning. Had a bunch of good looking bulls on it, just still growing. Um, so let's hope this one can get something on it. We gotta pretty nice pond right here the camera's just up behind me so let's see what it gets yeah we, uh, we've been getting dumped on all day um, sleeping in the truck tried to get out of it so I just set cam number 10 for the year so you get it right, right there if you can see it. So I got two on this ridge. Seen a good bull on here last fall. Hoping I can get some pictures of him. Hopefully he made it through. Well, we've been fighting the rain all day, setting cameras up, and now it's snowing on us. <laughs> June fifteenth. Snowing up on the mountain. Just got cam 17 and 18 put up. One's down low in a little valley. Has some water and the other one is up where I think they bed. Followed a pretty good game trail up there. So we'll see if we can't get a tree stand up in their bedding area or the water area whenever they hit a little more often. I just checked the camera. It's been up for about two weeks. Nothing giant on it, but there's some pretty cool bulls. There's one bull with a big dropper second. And then one, he's growing all funky out the side of his head. Definitely gonna be fun to see what they turn into. 
walking in, checking out the cam. So it's been up about a month. You have to get through some real thick stuff. And then there's some clearings down in here. There's a lot of older elk sign when I put it up. There's elk sign on the road. Pretty excited about this one. We'll see what we get. I got one more of my cameras. Unfortunately, the uh, moo cows have found them too. But I have a sweet bull on him. He showed up on Wednesday. Today's Friday. I'm gonna try to throw a few more cameras up in this area where this big boy's at. He's a stud bull. Got the family out here tonight looking at some bulls.
All right, guys. I just pulled another cam. And I am stoked. It had four or five shooter bowls on it. Some sweet bowls. Man, these elk are living up here in the freaking high country. I mean, there's elk poop all over in these rocks. Blows my mind. But luckily, this is a spot I can glass pretty good. So, definitely have to spend some time in here glassing. With the cameras being out. Kind of sucks to pull them. There's some sweet pictures on there. But. I'll definitely be hunting this area if I can keep an eye on a few of them. There's a ton of them. Yeah, there's, there's four or five bulls I'd shoot. And that five point, is that two other of my cameras showed up too. I mean, I'm just on the other side of the ridge from that last camera he hit the one time. And now he's down here with all these other big old bulls. So I'm getting pretty excited. Definitely at an area I'm gonna be hunting. I'm walking in. Check my trail cam. Check this out. There's three bowls. One to seven. That was freaking nuts. I would shoot all three of those bulls. I didn't get a very good look at the seven point. The freaking mooers coming in behind me, being loud, and he didn't like it. I sat there for probably 25 minutes at 25 yards. Too bad it wasn't a month from now. Probably could have hit those ones. He just came to me that I have a trail cam picture of him of the big six point last year in the same draw. I'll add it here. Pretty sure it's the same ball. Great big back end. Just little seconds. It's a sweet ball though. Luckily they didn't bump out of here very far. It has been a killer day. Pulled eight cameras. And they all had pretty good bowls on them. I buzzed up to this glassing point. I've never been to before. And man, I just found the freaking bowls. I mean, I bet you I saw 35 bulls tonight. And most of them are big. <laughs> I'm so far away, it's hard to tell exactly. But I can see their frames and count their points on most of them. The ones that the sun hit, I got good video of. It's nothing better. I was just sitting in the trailer. I was beat today from pulling all the cameras. I have to do some more tomorrow. I mobbed Louisa up here just before dark and it paid off big. Up on top here at night, it's, it's pretty chilly. I got a long ride back. Dinner and Decide if I want to come back here in the morning or go try to find some new balls. Well, I just pulled one of my favorite cams. It's a spot I've run cameras for three years. And I 
first year I put them up, there was a bull that was hitting it. It was just super goofy. His pedicle comes off his forehead. And he's either been a big five or six the last two years. On one side and just super goofy. Well, he never showed up this year. I figured he was dead. Well, end of July pulling these cameras, he just showed up for the first time and he's huge. Super goofy, but man, it's a bull I would, I would love to shoot. So I hope I can, hope I can track him down. Walking up to camp number 26. Been pretty dang fun. All summer running these cameras. Today's July 30th. Cam's got to be down tomorrow, so. We spent all weekend pulling cams, classing up bowls. It's been a blast. There's elk sign all over right here. I can smell them. Trevor stayed back at the, the old Jeep this hike. Wore him right out, but can't thank him enough for coming down, spending time with me almost every weekend I come. Thorns and Bernie, they had to go home yesterday. They could only stay for the day. Thank you guys. We got plenty of bulls found to chase in a month or two. I'm getting excited, yeah, there's elk tracks. They hit it this morning. Let's check this thing. I think there's only been two, maybe three weekends. This whole summer since Memorial Day, I haven't came down here. I thank my wife for letting me come. She knows this is a pretty good tag. We have a little newborn. Uh, six months old now, but my wife's been awesome staying home, watching her. They've came down a few weekends and looked at some bowls with me. It's Friday, the day before the archery deer hunt starts. I came down here for a few days. This is what camp's looking like. Found a pretty sweet bull this morning up in some cliffs. He's probably one I'd shoot. We're gonna keep an eye on that area. If he shows himself up a few more times right there, I might have to might have to go after him opening morning, but we're here for two, three days. I gotta run home. Work Monday morning, do things with the family, and then I'm coming down Monday night. I can hunt Wednesday. So getting pretty excited. Shoot a bow a little bit. Feeling pretty good at that. Out to about 70. So. Here's my bow. My good buddy Connor Sheriff set me up with it. Hello guys, it is opening afternoon. This morning I went and sat in my tree stand. When we had cameras up, there was a pretty good bull in there. Saw a few cows, a few smaller bulls. Just nothing I wanna shoot. We got 30 cows. change of clothes up because I knew I was going to flip my butt off hiking up here. 
So I'm gonna change into those real quick. Make sure there's not a bull with these cows. It's only about three o'clock, so I got about five hours up on here. It's cloudy, little storms coming in. I'm grub moving already, so wish me luck. I just spotted a bull. down below me. One is a huge five by six. One is a, a giant five point with the coolest back end I've ever seen. I mean, he, he curves 90 degrees down towards his butt. It's awesome. And there's a ball with a big cheater on his royal going back. It's four o'clock right Stud bull just stepped out right below me. 350 yards. His backs are tiny, but his fronts are huge. The wind's in my favor now. I'll switch. It's coming up at me. I'm gonna go make a play on him. It's 350 right now. Guys, dang it. Got in here, another bull came out, small rag. I came, I came from up there, caught down, and the sucker was through that, where my broadhead is, 21 yards. He sat and raked for like five minutes. I just didn't have a shot, I could see his butt and his horns. And the wind swirled after five or ten minutes and he busted. Ah, gosh dang it. Close. Pretty dang close. We made it back to the backpack. 15 minute break. Relax, drink some water. We're gonna go do it again. There's still a big five by six. And that cool velvet five point. I think I'd probably shoot him. We'll see. But that one was a bummer. There's bigger bulls, but I would have been happy with him. It was cool to see him rake and whatnot, but let's go do it again. Big storm rolling in. Kind of got quiet and I got a long hike back. I'm heading down through this crap, down these roads. Bucket list item for me. Velvet. Let's see. Big bull spotted. There's a bull I've watched for a few days. Uh, he hangs out with a sweet six point. It's probably the bull I'd rather shoot. I didn't see him. They've been running together, so there's a chance he shows up. Um, but this bull I'm going after right now, he's got huge royals, big fronts, average thirds, and smaller backs. All the bulls this year kind of struggled on the back end. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a four wheeler ride, then about a mile hike rain it looks like um, this sucker's living up 11-2 is where he's at in the shelf he's on so it's it's way up there he's up in the high country crap rock high alpine trees so we'll see what happens if this rain picks up it might change my mind we'll see Bull is just over the 
these rocks. So I'm gonna get up here, drop the pack, and try to locate him. Wind still in my face. We'll see what happens. Out two. Hunter zero. Gosh. I got in here and was able to actually find the bull. He's bedded in the sick pines. Blow me. He was about 70 yards. I think he was dead. And I was just going to hang out behind this root until he got up. I had a shooting lane on each side of him. I was just going to hang out until he got up. What I didn't see is back behind me, there was a little raghorn that stood up and barked. And that big boy didn't stick around. He bailed straight down off. I watched him run across the next ridge. Frustrating. There's so much goes into these stalks. But on to the next one. We got a little bit of a hike back. I'm gonna hike out of here so I don't have to go in the dark and break my ankle on this rock. Try to glass some bulls I saw this morning. Try to figure out where they are. Probably go after them in the morning. So. Well guys, the plan for today, send Connor and Bernie up on that knob. I was gonna be up on top of that sucker. When the sun came up, worked out. There were just some cows and spikes between me and the bulls. Um, Connor watched where they walked into bed. I snuck in there with the wind in my in my face. I uh, I had a five point stand up, about 35 yards. It's not quite big enough, and I could hear the other bulls in the back. So I tracked them halfway down this mountain, hoping to catch up to them once they hit water or something like that, but never happened. So, try again tonight. Try again tomorrow morning. So, not too bad so far. <sighs> Elk three, hunter zero. And that one hurts. That one freaking hurts. We all split up tonight. Glass of new areas and Connor calls me about 6.30. So dude, I found a giant. He was pushing about 10 cows. He had about 10 spikes with him. I freaking hauled butt up the mountain unloaded the wheeler, ran a mile up this hill, got to 120 of the big bull, three spikes, 50 yards. It's about dark as you can see. So I uh, sat there for a few minutes and they weren't having it. We got in here, me and Connor. He was bedded. I could see his horns in the trees. It was a tight gap. I thought I'd range his head at 55. So I put my 50 pin just a little high. And uh, after the shot, Connor went to where he was and he was at 40. Shot right over the back of him. He was a pretty good bull. I definitely would have been happy with him. Probably 320 bull, but lived on another day. It's good morning. So, what do you do? I'm not too upset about it. I feel like I can kill a bigger one, but it would have been pretty dang fun. So.
plan for tonight is to get up where this big boy's been hanging out. It's been about three days since I've been here. Not a whole lot of sun on the road, which is a good sign. Super windy right now, as you can see in here probably. But it's blowing down off this edge. It's what I want. Falls are gonna be over here. I'm gonna sneak up along this edge, blow them that way. Who knows? They might have moved out. They could be up in here. He had about 10 cows last time I saw them. So we'll get up here a little farther. Drop the pack, grab the bow, and we'll be going for it. So. Not a bad night at all. Got up here, got to where the bulls have been about 6.30. Walked around, called around till about 7.45. No luck, so I started heading back. About halfway back and I glassed up a bull just below me. My wind's coming up, which is great. It's just perfect set of, set of trees to walk behind. Pop around at 50. Pretty good ball. So here's what's going on. We glassed up one of our target bulls. He's probably one of the top five bulls we've seen this year. And he's in a familiar place. I was up in here the second day of the hunt put a stock on a pretty good bowl I'm hoping this one would show up and uh, got to 70 got blown out but we glassed him up I got spotters this time which helps a lot so we're about three quarters of a mile away from him bunch of Lava fields I gotta go through. But I got Brian with me behind me. Helping me up here. I got Hunter and Austin and Sheriff down on the ground, so we'll see what happens. About 500 yards from the bull. Coming through this crap. Put some box rolling in. Which is not good for our spotters. So we'll see what we can do. We might have to wait it out up on you. We'll see. Well, that sucked. Got in. Austin and Connor and Hunter could see me. I was about 200 yards above the bull. He was just feeding. Some other guys surprisingly clear up on here. Coming in from the side, a little closer to the elk. Started bugling and cow calling and spooked him. So, what do you do? Morning, guys. Today it's September 5th. I've um, been down here since the 30th. Um, had a lot of close calls. The first few days last week, the weather was awful. Um, but that kind of fired the bulls up. Yesterday morning, got on some bulls. Couldn't get her done. This morning, hiked up into an area. I had some cams this summer. Actually got into three bulls. Had a smaller six point at about 30. I'm just not quite there yet. Um, and then 
I had the bull I wanted to shoot. He was at 58, but I can only see his nose and his brow tines across kind of a rock face. And I don't know if the wind swirled or if he just couldn't see an elk standing there and he barked and took off. But it's just starting to get good. I got two weeks to the day left. So it's awesome out here. This morning I had those bulls down in the valley. Um, they were working up the draw. They're bedded on the side hill. Um, instead of pushing them, I backed out. I'm coming up, I came up over the top above them. Wind's howling up this way, so I hope I can hear them. But if I can hear them, my wind's gonna be blowing away from them perfect. So we're gonna go try it, see what happens. Down in the bottom here. They bag it up here. The wind's starting to die down. I just heard him bugle. I just can't tell how far he is with this wind. Everything went almost perfect. I, uh, the wind died down. I had two bulls below me bugling. The one bull came into about 30, but I could only see his third and his fourth. Couldn't even see fur. It's nasty up in here. And then I had a bull about 65, 70, head on. It was real thick. I thought about taking a shot, but just it's not a very good shot. But he was a pretty solid bull. I couldn't see his back end, but his fronts, thirds were good. He was pretty wide. It's a beautiful night out here, though. Eat some dinner, sleep, and try it again tomorrow.
just freaking smoke the bowl. He was down here bugling in this draw. I was up behind me. And uh, I called him and one cow in. And he was facing me and the cow had busted me. I had a 55 yard frontal shot, so I took it. But look at this blood. That bull has to die. So we're just gonna sit here and give him some time and track him. Let's go, baby. Big, like 330 bull. Maybe bigger. Dark horns. Big. I found him. He's here. And I am burnt out, man. That was that was a long hunt. Oh, I think this is my 15th day hunting, not including any of the summer scouting trips I did, trail cams. I think I probably hiked close to 100 miles just during the hunt. But here he is. First look at my 2023 limited entry ball. So I'll get him uh, moved around, take some pictures, make some calls, and we'll get him cleaned up. So. All right. Here he is. My first shot. I stuck him in the throat. That's the only shot I had. So I did do a follow-up shot right through his shoulder blade. But there's all the looks of them. I'm pretty happy with them. It's going to be a tough one to beat. So, well, it's hailing. I got the first load, and it's freaking hailing hard. I got a few guys coming down, so. Meat's all cut up, hanging in a pine. I'm taking this first load down, and then grab lunch, wait for them, and then we'll all head up and grab the rest, so. Good times, but man, this is pain in the butt. Cutting an elk up solo is no fun, especially caping and things like that, so. Well, we got the crew up here, Brian and Kyler. They both got a back. I got two, two fronts and the back straps. Final load out, huh? 